welcome to Cobalt Retro Tech. Hope you're having an amazing day. Now today, we're going to be looking at a Nintendo 64, or more specifically, the controllers. Now, I'm preparing this system for a very close friend of mine, and although I do want to focus a little bit on the cleanliness of the outside of the system, Today I don't really want to tear this part because I don't want to accidentally break it, and I know for certain this does work, sorry, spoiler alert. So I don't really want to mess with the internals of this because I don't want to accidentally break things, and this project is a little bit time sensitive as of filming this video. But uh, controller on the other hand, that's a bit of a different story. This particular controller is a little bit yellowed, but that's not what I'm talking about here. All the buttons work and everything. And obviously, you know, I can connect it to the console and actually play the games. This analog stick, actually the analog sticks on both of the controllers I got, they're both having problems. My problem specifically with these controllers is something that's kind of really hard to accurately portray in a YouTube video, but this thing has quite a big horizontal dead zone, a little bit of a uh, vertical dead zone too, um, but just in general the, the dead zone's bigger than I would prefer, and using the thumbstick in general it just has some relatively inconsistent resistance and just doesn't feel great and that's a combination of you might be able to see here um this joystick's a bit on the dirty side because you know these consoles are over 20 years old at this point of course they're going to be a bit dirty but these particular thumbsticks are known for just wearing down in general and that's exactly why i got this replacement joystick from 8-Bit Do, 8-Bit Do, however you say their name. It's the same company that made that Switch Lite joypad that I really like, and the one that's really great for Virtual Boy emulation. This is a replacement joystick for the N64 controllers with modern technology behind it. What I mean by that is, I don't know what technology these guys are based off of, but it's definitely 20, 30, whatever years old at this point. And even back then, when it was still relatively new, it had known reliability, long-term problems. But this guy, theoretically, shouldn't deteriorate in the same way. Because, as you might be able to notice, this particular joystick is more styled towards the GameCube. And it's also a Hall Effect joystick, so it's not going to wear down, at least not in the same way that this joystick does. Now, a quick note about this joystick in particular. Ideally, I would love a joystick that's as close as possible, aesthetically speaking, to the vanilla joystick. But I do recognize with this thumbstick being based off of different technology, it's probably not super possible to do a Hall Effect joystick with this style. And I refuse to give these joysticks to my friend because although that would be technically authentic to the vanilla experience, these feel like crap and they've got to go. They might be good enough for some spare parts or controllers for my own, but these are, as far as I can tell, much better quality joysticks. I didn't feel a genuine GameCube controller back when it was new, but this feels like several generations newer than this for a variety of reasons. But enough talking about it, let's get going. So real quick, I just want to point out that not only did this single joystick part come with a screwdriver, which should in theory work for cracking open the controller, they also provided instructions, even though, as you can see by these instructions, the process is very simple. You basically just take out all the screws, take out the joystick, put everything back together, basically. With, of course, remembering to install the new joystick. You, get, you gotta remember that. <laughs> so, all you're gonna need is the joystick and the included screwdriver 
Though if you do have a screwdriver already, you're probably not going to need this, but I'm glad they included this anyways. Even though I now have two of these because I got two of those thumbsticks. Alright, let's go ahead and get this taken apart, huh? All right, that looks like all the screws and that should just lift off. Ah, the days of controllers before an obnoxious amount of tabs was the norm. Kind of miss those days. So at this point, it looks like we're looking at the motherboard assembly and uh, this is the Z button right here, plus this is where the thumbstick is. So, we should be able to slide that out somehow, or is that part of the, uh... Okay. This does not come with a new Z button, um, thing. So, we're gonna have to be careful to not break that. But, we should be able to take this off. Oh, oh, there we go. There's a ridge. Ah, there's a ridge they can rest uh, your fingernail or a plastic pry tool on. That's good. All right. Thumbstick is loose. Let's go ahead and get this Z button off. Hopefully non-destructively. There we go. And here's the original analog joystick. You might be able to see that. It just... It feels rough. And I know it looks dirty. Being able to clean it would probably help. But knowing how these controllers can age over time, it probably wouldn't help as much as it would for a much newer controller. So I'll just set that off to the side. We're going to grab the new one. Oh, that really does feel so much better. Like, no exaggeration. Okay, so we should be able to just slot this back in place. And start putting it back together, essentially, at this point. Aha! I got it back on and lined back up for the most part. Hopefully things should be seating back in as we're getting the screws back on. But uh, that wasn't going to be possible for me to do that fiddly stuff with getting everything lined up and have the camera directly in front of me like that. So I do apologize for that, but we should be able to continue. All right, I got the console hooked up with this controller with the new thumbstick and quite possibly the best game to test a new analog thumbstick. Super Mario 64. Let's do this. Or more aptly, let's -a go. It's me, Mario. Hell yeah. All right, now for the moment of truth. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Man, I'm almost jealous of my friend for getting this, because this is like 
light years above and beyond what an N64 should feel like in the best way possible. Wow. I'm definitely going to do this for myself one day when I get my own N64. But for now, this system and the controllers and the games I got belong to him. Wow. This really does feel great. Like, no exaggeration. God, that... Even the dead zone, if I... It's a little... It's a little hard to film it, but this dead zone is incredibly small. Wow. That, that's... Honestly, I think that's the smallest dead zone I've ever seen on an older console like this. Like, wow! Unironically, this joystick is fantastic. No sponsorship, no anything like that. I'm not getting paid to say it. I didn't get these for free either. I paid for both of these joysticks. Ha! <laughs> wow! This is unironically a fantastic way to fix N64 controllers, at least if the only problem is the analog thumbstick. Like, actually, this feels absolutely pristine. It feels like I just installed a GameCube thumbstick on an N64. Honestly, it feels better than the thumbsticks I have on my Wii U gamepad. Which, that's kind of saying a lot right there, because even, you know, say what you will about the Wii U. The, the controllers that I made for that platform are made well, at least the first party ones. Even though it's a third party joystick, it absolutely is a high quality one. And I know, I know Ape It Do was uh, very well known, or is, I should say, is very well known for their controllers. I haven't tried uh, one of their controllers with a joystick yet, so, I mean, I, I figured it was worth a gamble. Uh, considering that they're well known for their controllers, but I didn't know it was going to be this this good. I mean, this this feels great. People would have killed to have a thumbstick that feels this good back when the N64 was new. Nice. Um, hold on a second. The thumbsticks are not supposed to click. <laughs> um. This actually might be actually a joystick meant for a GameCube. Because that's not supposed to click. But it works. I'm not specifically the button for, um, for clicking because no games on the N64 were made with that in mind. Because, you know, the original thumbstick didn't click in. But this one does, apparently. You'd probably have to hardware mod stuff to get that to actually be recognized as an input. However it works, it does work, and I can't wait for my friend to see this and play it. This, this feels great, man. Like, unironically, it's fantastic. If you can't tell with that raving review, I highly recommend these Ape It Do, Ape It Do, whatever. I highly recommend these thumbsticks, because not only are they built very well, and at least this one has a very small dead zone, one of the smallest dead zones I've ever seen for a controller like this. It also just feels fantastic. And it's light years better than that OEM thing that probably just needs to be cleaned, but there's probably some other stuff going on. Because, you know, these the OEM ones do wear out over time. This one shouldn't wear out, at least not in the same way. So, I very highly recommend checking them out. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw an Amazon link in the description. It's not affiliated. I just want my audience to know that this is a very good option for fixing these old controllers. I'm not quite done yet, because as you heard early in this video, I got two of these joysticks, because I have two of these controllers. This one has similar problems to the other OEM joystick, though it is actually slightly better, but not by much. 
So we're going to go ahead and do a lightning round of replacing this hump stick on this. And I'm going to go ahead and clean what I can superficially uh, off of the controllers and the console itself off camera. Because this video is not going to end with just me putting in the second thumbstick. Stay tuned. Because I had opened the other thumbstick just to see what was going on inside the box, I didn't get an unboxing. But hey, I have a second shot at this, right? So all we have to do is break the tape. I didn't do a great job of that. Let's do that again. There we go. So we've got to put that to the side. And here's basically the unboxing experience. Not much to it. Instructions, screwdriver, thumbstick. So, like I said, I've got two of these now, which is great. If I, uh, need to open more of these controllers or something like that. All right, we're back in Mario 64. Feels practically identical. Might be very slightly different, but probably not. I'm probably just making it up. Oh, real quick, I almost forgot. So, the different games I got for Cody. Super Mario 64, good condition, right? Not mint per se, but definitely pretty good for game this old. Same with F-Zero X, not much going on there. Same with Golden Eye 007, not much going on there. But Lego Racers is a little bit of a different story. It's cosmetically in great shape, just like the other games, except some kid got to it with probably a permanent marker. So, I'm going to test out a hack, quote-unquote hack, that I uh, learned about getting rid of permanent marker. You just scribble over it with dry erase marker. In theory, I should take it right off. Ooh. Almost nicked the uh, label. That would have been probably bad. We just take a towel here, start rubbing it off. Uh, that didn't get all of it. That got mo oh, camera work, man. That didn't get all of it, but that got most of it. That's actually not that bad. Let's go over that again. Let's make sure that it gets in frame. Kind of scrubbing in a little bit. Yeah, that's practically gone. And then there's this mark. In the face of the cartridge, which I assume is permanent marker. Because people are not careful with markers, as I just learned myself today. We're just going to go ahead. Kind of rub. Ooh, that's a camera work, man. Jeez. So that, that actually might not be permanent marker. That might be something else. But that other mark definitely was. Huh. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. 
But at least we got Zach's name off of it. Sorry, man, if this was your uh, game, it's mine now. Or Cody's, to be more precise. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm just going to continue cleaning stuff off camera. And the next shot's going to be at Cody's place. Okay, dude, we're on. Let's do it. Hi. Gift time. Gift time. Gift Hold on. Hold on. Right Turn around. Oh! Oh, nice! You fucking album art and the nice message. <laughs> to the dude that's just happy to be here. <laughs> that's fucking really, really, really cute and nice. You're like, ah! Just wait until you see what's inside. I'm gonna save the note. Uh, good luck with that. Oh. Oh shit. Okay then. Okay. Ah. You had good luck. Okay then. Whatever. That's where I keep nice notes. Is it fragile? Do I have to worry about spinning it around? Kind of. Okay, then I won't. I won't fuck with it. It's a box! I love hearing that. Technically, technically, you're opening it upside down, but whatever. It does it a second reveal. <laughs> it's all on purpose. It's it's from J Ten Two D. That's Amazon bullshit. Don't don't pay attention to that. Yeah, I'm so fucking tough. Oh shit! <laughs> what is this? That is a thing. No shit! This is a Nintendo sixty four. It is, but there's more. I'm actually pretty fucking excited. I have so much nostalgia. Oh, there's a controller! Dude. Yes. We should... And we should, there's more. We should play. Oh, I fucking... I have a... I have a... I have a theory. Um, that's... Wow, this is like really new and nice. Jeez. And there's more. And there's more. What is this? An HDMI and a composite adapter. Because oh, so I like, sneakily saw that your projector doesn't have that. So you could just hook it up to a projector. Bam! That's fucking sick. I can put it right on top of the projector. And technically, I have opened it. I needed to double check that it actually does 4x3 properly, because another one that I got stretched the image. Okay. And you, but you tested it. I tested that one. Fucking sweet. Two so the, controllers. Those two, uh, two of those guys. Okay. And I, I got to point out, this guy, the joystick, yeah. is not a stock joystick. It's an aftermarket joystick. It's an 8-bit do hall effect joystick. So it's like really nice. It's exponentially better and more reliable Ooh. than... I have it in your fucking pocket. This guy. Let me feel the difference. Oh shit, that actually broke slightly in my pocket. Oh well. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So do that one. That's just, this is like as smooth as my like pro that, controller. That design, I'm 98% sure, is based off of their GameCube controllers. And you did it on both of them? Yeah. Cool. So it's not like, no, I want the good controller. Exactly. I'm not giving you this bullshit. Thank, okay? Thank you. Not for my best friend. Thank you. Not for the guy who's happy to be here. I am happy to fucking be here. Is this a power supply? I've never yeah. seen a power supply for a Nintendo. Yeah, it's weird. They kept doing different shit for power adapters for a while. Dude, a bunch of fucking games. Yes. Super Mario 64, that's fucking sick. Yes. I will legit play the shit out of this. If only it had multiplayer, but it doesn't by default. And this is really clean. Yeah. Is there like a guy who like makes these? Or like, is this, is this like a legit actual car. Maybe somebody here found legit copies and cleaned them up. I should I should lick it. Somebody, somebody who's them. known for having an eBay shop and, and kinda knows their shit a little bit. And for who's known for fixing hard drives. <laughs> <laughs> That's solid state, isn't it? There's more yeah, it's, it's a cartridge. I'm actually pretty fucking That's cool that you wrap them up individually. Lego fucking racers! Did I ever tell you that I played that? Yes. Nice, dude. We're gonna, dude. We should play Lego Racers. 
Yes. I used to like, I used to genuinely... Keep going. Okay. There's more. I didn't have a safeguard, so I just had to do it all in one. I've never played this. Really? I never, ever, ever. Well, you're about to have an experience. It's. I know it's really, really good. Yes. Golden, Golden Eye Double O's. For, for an FPS of this age, it is phenomenal. With that joystick, too. Yes. Wow. I, I'm, wow, I'm actually really touched. Wonderful afternoon. Oh, shit! Is this the racing game I was telling you about? I believe so. I did it! I was hoping you wouldn't remember that. <laughs> That's my, when I When I saw this, I remembered you were asking about like, what's like a like a game that you used to play? Fuck. We should okay. I want to. I should I should have asked a lot sooner. I want to like I want to test this one first to see if it's the one okay. that was at La Petite when I was a kid. Okay. But everything in there works. I tested everything. That's so, it's so nice. How did you get it so clean? Maybe maybe a little bit of a wipe down. Maybe I just got lucky and having clean stuff. You'll never know. And it goes in so smooth. It's like click, clickety clack. Yeah, it's almost like it's designed for that or something. Thank you. Not a problem. Man. That's actually an exceptional birthday present. <laughs> As opposed to average and eh. Well, this is like <laughs> this is like a connection to something that I haven't had since I was like less than eight years old. That's. Kind of a core idea behind Koal Retro Tech. You didn't totally put this on that. I just, I, I, I wanted to get your permission to film it. Because this is totally I, like tech stuff. Yeah, I, I wanted to get your permission to film it, but I didn't want to say it was for my channel because that could have potentially given it away. That's, yeah, you're like, you're like, I'm like, oh, it's tech. Wow. Which, and I still have the second shelf. I can put I can put that shelf oh, on shit, top yeah. of this, and I can put the fucking yeah. Nintendo 64 right on top of the chip. Yeah, totally. It gets tons of airflow. It'll never overheat. Well, I mean, overheating shouldn't really be a problem unless you put it in a acrylic box or something. Do you think that? What do you think like the power draw is for? It can't be more than 60 watts. I can't believe you got me four. Yeah, man. I was I was thinking like, whoa, Lego Racers, one really awesome game. Hey, right, four. Nintendo, dude, Mario sixty four is a game that I can play for like years. It's a fucking banger, man. The the only thing I couldn't do was the memory thing. How, so so how does that work? That pretty much only affects Lego Racers, unfortunately. But all the other ones save somehow. All of the other ones have a battery inside the cartridge, just for whatever reason, Lego Racers was programmed to do the external save. So it'll be like it was when I was a kid. Yes. Which is great, because then it's a real victory. Yes. It shouldn't be too hard to find one of those, but unfortunately I was not able to get that in time. To beat Lego Racers, we used to have 30 minute intervals where you'd sign your name at, at the daycare, and you could play for 30 minutes, and kids would work together, and like, put like four names for two hours, and we'd all agree that we were all a team to beat Lego Racers. Where we would go from like the, the, the worst guy to the best all in one run, and we couldn't save. That's so the console wow. turned off, you literally restarted. Wow. Yeah. So you get back from elementary school, and you got like, you got like an hour and a half before your mom comes and picks you up. You got an hour and a half to beat Lego Racers. And, and we also, we, you, always, tight, you always have to get, it's like done in threes, so per champion there's like three, so it's like three, 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 and then like the the best of the best space, Rocket Guy. Rocket Guy is the last one. The guy who's like, hi! You know, from yes. Lego, the Lego movie? So <laughs> the, the NASA shirt on? He's like the, he's like the top dog. Yeah, was it it's Space Benny or whatever his name was? Space. Or was that something else? It was called Space Benny. <laughs> Accidentally plugged into player two. The, 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 the first one on the left is player one. Oh, okay. Aren't those good? Those fucking speakers? Yeah, that's that's surprisingly good. Before we start though, the camera's looking a little smudged. Oh my god. 
Okay, so that's like a 
Oh, that's what happened. Damn. It's a, I remember that. So fucking far behind. I didn't even get the finish, damn it! I, dude, I used to be such a sore loser. <laughs> I would be like, like if I wasn't gonna win, I would just stop and wait for the game to take over the steering for me. Nice. Okay, let me look up. Let me look up, like... So that's this composite HDMI, right? Trust me. There's no easy way to fix it without fucking doing electronic shit. What I'm thinking is there might be one that's like, like has a really good processor in it that can compensate. So, so, again, the thing about modern displays is yeah. all of them have to stop and think about it. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. They all have to stop and think about the signal that's happening before they can do stuff. Every single one of them. That's why CRT gaming feels so good, is because of the, the, the analog nature of those. It's literally instantaneous. It's like plugging your car into DC. It's just, it's just already the thing that it needs. It doesn't have to convert it or do anything. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So, I, I mean... I would have rather have given you something that you can use with this now instead of giving you the console but You're totally not right. a proper like display to use You're it with. You're totally right. You're totally right. <laughs> I wonder if the console has brightness settings. No. Like on its output? <clears throat> uh, no, probably not. Okay, so I won. Someone looks at me, side eye. <laughs> I don't even 
Wow, you're like a quarter of the map ahead of me. I I haven't even been looking at like, like at anything. Oh yeah, I see. I didn't even know there was a mini map. I've just been looking at the road. There is a shortcut. I think it's like. Oh, I bet. <laughs> you can do it any you can get there before it before it finishes for you. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Nice job, dude. Nice. Okay, let's do let's do another one. Hey, I got our build on camera, so we can we can recreate them later. You got what? The, the builds, the, the the custom character. Oh yeah. Also, I think the rest of the maps unlock as you complete the story mode. So right now there's like yeah, just there's the entry maps. Not very many. Let's play Magma Moon Marathon and just see how much we can actually see. Sure. Okay. Probably not very much. And it remembers our choices. Yeah. This is a very well made game. Yes. I like this. For, for what it is, it's, it's not bad at all. Alright. Oh, we can see. We'll be fine. This is one of the dark. It's ones. blue, bitch! Okay, I think you have to press A right when it says, Your car looks fucking ridiculous. From the side. Fuck you. Off. Oh, and it takes your your brick out of you. Fuck it did. Yeah, like so if you get attacked, you lose your brick. Oh, these are, this is fucking sketch. What does the quiz nose uh, logo do? I'm confused. What is the the, the fucking green one? Oh shit! Ah, I did him! I did him! Oh yeah, ah. so you have to unlock that. What the fuck does that even mean? Yeah, so remember those gateways? Yeah. So we have to go through the gateways in the correct order, and then we'll unlock that shortcut. Oh, that's like a boost. Hey! I just got triple upgrade boost. Okay, so red... Red... Tell, oh, I see it! Okay, I see the code, Andy. I'm not gonna tell you the code. You, if you see it, then you see it. I think going through those things unlocks like a different part of the map. Something like that. It unlocks a shortcut that skips you past all of this. And uh, then, it's, then it's open to everybody, I think. Okay, I think it was off of my memory. Yeah, I think the green brick is some kind of speed boost. I was right! I remembered it! Which, for some reason, it looks like the Quiznos uh, logo, which is really weird. It does look like the Quiznos logo. Okay. Well, ah, in there. Okay, so it only opens for like five seconds. You that's see right there, it's like red, red, red. Fucking lame, dude. So, so that's what you gotta do for the next one. Okay, let's do let's do like the the campaign. Uh, I mean we're not saving because there's no way for us to save. Five, six, seven. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We used to play through seven. Like seven, championships. Seven of them in like an hour and a half. And Damn. there's three races per thing. Because you get three, you get you gotta get first twice. Damn. Yeah. You gotta be better than everyone else mm -hmm. in average. Here, you should let's take turns. You should go first. Uh, here. We'll we'll use we'll so it, it's not it's not multiplayer for the not, uh, yeah. not for the campaign. Ah. Alright, Andy's playing. Oh, oh, shit. What? I didn't get a chance to fucking select the character. Oh, don't worry, I, I selected my character. Yeah, because it makes sense oh, for look. me to play as you. Oh, on the high seas, or on the... You are no match for the great Captain Redbeard. So give it up, matey. I'm going to suck. You're doing the voices for the next character. We'll take turns. I'm going to suck. 
You gotta win. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. You gotta win it. You have to. Nice. Oh shit! You did it. I just gotta like my trick in that way. Ah shit. Okay, save one of the red bricks. Yes. Shoot it. Shoot it at the barrels, right? Fucking right there. You wanna shoot those barrels? Oh fuck off! Fuck off, game! That's the shirt. Code. You saw, you saw I had the thing, but then it gave me a different thing. You know it, it uh, you ran through the blue grid. Exactly, it gave me a different thing. You're in fourth, you're doing good. Oh. <laughs> oil, oil. You should have fucking said it and you didn't do any jinx to me. Sorry. You're doing good. Oh, fuck. Get him. Captain Redbeard usually gets first place. Like, the game usually, like, gives him a better ride. Okay, save it, save a red. Nice. Okay, okay don't fuck it up. Okay, and those... Bam! Nice. Ah, fuck! That guy's a real asshole. That zap is a fucking oh. bullshit. <laughs> yeah. This game's pretty fun though. I can see why uh, your daycare had it. Dude, I can't believe that's a sentence. My daycare. <laughs> I used to be in daycare. I used to be so young that I had to be in daycare. I know, right? Like, you're you're about to be 24 and I'm about to be 24. And it's like I feel like we just graduated high school. We've been best friends since junior year. Junior year, so that would be graduated in 2018. Right? 19. 2019. So, 20, so 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. We've been best friends for five years. We've been friends for seven years. If I get first place, I'm totally not gonna run it. <laughs> I'm totally not gonna do it. Okay, so Redbeard. How do you do the hit? Redbeard has 30. How do you do the hit? Oh, you can go up the ranking if your person passes other people after the race is finished. Yeah. Oh. That's, that's something that used to happen. Huh. I remember like hoping that that would happen and then it would happen once more. So we lost. We immediately fucking lost. How do you do the hit? Yeah. Oh wait, I think I actually did, I accidentally did a new character. I was wondering what you were doing. Okay, I got this. So you have to win like all three in a row. Okay. What? Oh, your turn. Uh, I seas are on land. You are no match for the great Captain Redbeard, so give it up, matey. Har har! That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. I gotta admit, I impressed myself with that one. Alright, here we go. No fucking around. Holy shit, I've been Pow. doing this We've been doing this for an hour, man. It's fucking crazy. Try to shoot me. Nice. It's like you know this game or something. Dude, the, the memory is like crazy how much it's going back. I should have plucked out the green. I, I was stuck between the green and the red. The input lag, I'm getting used to it. Yeah, it's 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 not great, but it's doable. It's definitely doable. Oh shit! I like should. ideally, if I had a metric shit ton of money and we had like a lot of space, I could get you like one of those projector CRT TVs where it's still like a decent size, but it's also 
the CRT, so it has like zero input lag. That's pretty cool. Now I can see how people like like the CRT stuff. Yes. Yeah, CRT image quality overall isn't super great to get compared to a lot of like really high end modern displays, but the latency is unbeatable. Yeah, there's literally no input. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I'm trying to get that, that child out of there. Oh, and it stays open. That's kind of cool. Shit. I need this. Okay, almost done. Almost in first. Go, go to go! Go, go to go! Go, go to go! Yeah. Go, go to go! Yeah! And they shot me right there. No, he's gonna uh -huh. pass me! If he would have passed me just then, he would be in first. It might change it. Oh, wow. Fuck off! Dude, thank god. I think it might only do it for the player. Maybe. Okay, your turn. This is a really dark track, good luck. I... I don't, uh, I don't hold it against you if you can't see. Whoa. Okay, the green on the edges helps. It does, but not as much as you would think. Okay, left. Right. Left. <laughs> right. Okay, through the waterfall. I go through one of the waterfalls. There's, no, there, there's, a, there's a waterfall that's open. There's a I can't that's fucking open. see shit, man. There's a waterfall that's open somewhere on this track. And, that, and it's a shortcut. Coming back to me. I can't see I can't, fucking anything. I can't either. Holy it's, shit. Okay. All of that. No, I still in second. All of that is just straight. Okay, right turn. Another right turn. The next one is a left. Fuck. There's a left. Okay, then a right. Okay. I think that that might be a shortcut. So we gotta figure out how to get. I'm, I'm just right trying to. I'm just trying to survive here. Get up, get up. I miss. Uh... Okay, as long as you're in second, we're still totally fine. Because then we're tied with red. Keep it in second. Uh, okay, right. it's, it's straight. It's straight. Oh my god! Uh, it's so dark. That was bullshit. <laughs> A little bit. There is a shortcut in like every match. Nice if I could pick up the damn power ups! You can play a game like Ah, what was that? Come on, Andy, third, second place! It's the last lap! Let's get the green, get the shit! There's, there's not much! You got second, him! Second! Second! No! Fuck! No. You gotta pass him, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, slightly to the right. Slightly to the left. Yeah, slightly to the left. Fuck! To the left. Ah, did it happen? Pass him! Ah. Pass him! Pass him! Pass him! Pass him! Damn it! Okay, you might pass him in the credits. You might pass him in the credits. Ah! Oh. You might pass him in the credits. How did you move him? There's still time. How did you move him? You did it! You passed him in the credits! Woo! You barely by Jack and Coward! You totally earned second place! Woo! Okay, okay, I, I got this. Woo! How did it behave? How did it behave? How did it behave? How did it behave? Three! Someone's totally gonna shoot me. Just... Okay, here's a gamble, here's a total guess. I bet red, red, blue. Is it random every time? Yeah, it changes. Okay, so it's red, red, red. So we gotta remember that. Red, red, red. There's a chance that the AI will do it by accident. Red, red, red. Red, red, red. Red, red, red. Red, red, red. Red, 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 red. red, red, red. Ooh. If I, get a, if I get another white. Okay, that should be. They go on the track like a blue shell. 
<laughs> That's OP to have it at first. Oh yeah. Red. Red, 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 if you're, if you can figure it out, okay. What do you think? I'm guessing blue, blue, red. Yeah, blue, red. Oh, I was right. Okay. I was fucking right. <laughs> good, good race, everybody. Good race. Uh. They haven't even finished yet. I think I'm an entire lap ahead of everyone. <laughs> Dude, how did Captain Redbeard still have 70? I don't know. Okay, don't fuck it up. Well, well remember, I fucked it up last time, Don't so. fuck it up. Oh, I fucked it up. I'm excited for Euros. Euros sound good. That, that actually does sound good. I don't think I've ever actually had a Euro. I was They're, thinking about it the other day. You need to get out of my head. They're made with sheep's meat or lamb meat. Yeah. Both of it's really, really yeah, good. Like oh, great. that's the shortcut on the left. Fuck. Next time... I think you have to hit it with, like, an attack, and it'll open. Holy so, shit, I'm at first! Yeah, good job. Okay, it's a left, up ahead. If that guy gets in front of you, shoot him, like, right Yeah. Okay. okay, it's a right turn right there. Left turn. That's probably gonna fall over. Fuck get you! Yeah, fuck, fuck you! Fuck you, Redbeard! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, I think there's a shortcut... Like, right at the bottom of that, I think. Okay, I, I, I think. Okay, save your red, unless you want to shoot him. Okay, go left and shoot that. What? Ouch! Okay. It's a right turn. Left turn. Oh. Come on. It's not very shortcutting. Okay, get the green. Get the green, Andy! Get the green! Get it! Yeah! yeah! Woo! Woo! Oh, fuck. oh, fuck! Right off no, the road! No, 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 no! Fuck! Okay, there, there... Oh, no! Fuck you! Yeah. Fuck you, Redbeard! You have to get first place. You have to get first place. If you don't get first, we lose the championship. Alright. Shortcut! Again! Okay, so gotta get the gotta get the lights. Gotta get the lights. Fuck! 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 The next one's a left. Fuck! Fuck! Next one's okay. Just get the green. Get this white, and then the green, and you're good. Green, 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 green. Hit it! Yeah. Okay, go left immediately. Ah. First place! First place! Yeah! yeah. Woo! Turkey. <laughs> you fucking won! Woo! You fucking won! Was that the end? Oh, he got... Wow, dude, we beat him by 20 points. Woo-hoo-hoo! That's... Now, imagine doing all of these without losing in a row. God, it must have been tense at your daycare. Fuck! Dude, all the kids, like, screaming at the other kids. <laughs> oh, shit, here's the next contender. Whoa. All right, get, okay, I think it's my turn to... Oh, he gives you his car, too! Unlocked, bitch! If you get Congratulations, it. you have won Captain Redbeard's whatever the fuck it said. You've won his land ship. <laughs> so... If only we could save. And we gotta do circuit. Yeah, we fucking can't ever save. I'm sorry about that, man. How do... So do we just put it in the controller? It's either in the controller or the console itself. I don't know. Is that what this is? Yeah, it's an ex expansion port. So if I bought that, I could stay. Yes. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Check out my socials, including Twitter and Tumblr. And I also have the Cobalt Retro Shop eBay store and the Patreon page linked in the description below if you would like to support this channel more directly. Speaking of the Patreon page, I do have to thank Kilo Supporter and Ian Mac for helping make Cobalt Retro Tech possible. Thank you. And with all that being said, I will see you in the next video.